ladies and gentlemen, now while the names have already been announced, I think this is just the appropriate moment when I should be inviting right here on stage our jury chair, Sri Sunil Arora, former election commissioner of India and former secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India, to please join us on stage and say a few words amongst everyone putting their hands together, of course. I got a call from Mansi from this organization and Shrita that this is the planning. I was in Hyderabad, our daughter lives there and we go there as much as we can to be with our grandchildren. And then she suggested that we'll have a kind of a Zoom meeting and we'll have all the jury together and we can have some discussion. I'm grateful to the jury to agree to come to this mode of discussion, which is becoming more and more popular now and for the right reasons. We had, I think, about three to four hours of discussion and uh, it was more a kind of ideation amongst people who had met for the first time. When one knew many people in this audience, in this jury. One knew people like Dr. Najma Ji, uh, premier academic of the country. In fact, everybody who, who, whose name I take in their own fields, in their own respective fields, they are extremely well-known people to the entire country, and the country is proud of them. Yeah, and Raag Bhattaraji, uh, who is always kind of such a dynamo of energy that one feels kind of a bit uh, ashamed of uh, walking by his side, because by the time you walk, he starts running. <laughs> uh, Honorable Minister in his address made many points. Uh, I feel I am slightly qualified and to talk about two points out of them. One is that way back, a couple of years back, I got a call from the then Principal Secretary of uh, Prime Minister to the Prime Minister that I should join as Secretary Skill Development in 48 hours. And I came here and joined. Uh, I'll just take two, three minutes on that, or maybe five minutes. Hope you will bear with me. I found in that when I came, and the person who was this uh, notification by the government was issued sometime in July 2014. And one of my colleagues was holding an additional charge. He was a sitting secretary. So I came here and I found, I told him, is there any office where should I sit? He says, you have to find out yourself. So everything I talked, he gave me two cups of tea, but practically he told me that you have to find out yourself. I'll give you one or two PAs to start with uh, on additional basis so that you can give dictation, etc., etc. After about 15 days, I decided to divide my time in two parts. About 40 to 50 percent was inadvertently taken in going to various ministries and begging for your office, your staff, this, that, that. It was not begging, but yes, it was a begging in the sense. And uh, the other was uh, spent, and the Honorable Minister at that time was Mr. Sonowal, who subsequently became Chief Minister of uh, Assam. He told me that as Sports Minister, I have some space to sit near the Sports Authority as Chairman. Why don't you start sitting there? I must say that here I found a huge difference between my own class, in which I had spent by that time almost 30 years, 
and Mr. Sonowal. He straight away gave me his own office where he was sitting as chairman, whereas other people were giving me only a cup of tea. Uh, and we started. I have done various jobs by the grace of God, but those three, four months, I think, uh, were the most uh, learning period of life. Because I realized more than ever how diversified India is and how, how much many people are doing work in skilling, entrepreneurship, many of them coming from abroad, settling in India and finding their feet again. I had uh, my friend, my younger friend, Aditya Saikia, who unfortunately is no more, passed away very early and very tragically. We have Santanu Paul, from uh, settled in Hyderabad, PhD in maths from Michigan, and who is into digital skilling at that time, uh, sitting in Hyderabad, having centers in Chennai and having centers in Bangalore. If I start taking names, uh, it will probably supplant your award ceremony because each one of them uh, had, at that time, I'm talking of the year 2014-15, they had already been doing a lot of dedicated work in skills. It was so many islands of uh, excellence. The only problem, as Honorable Prime Minister had started saying, in our internal meetings also, that now how to scale up these islands and create a quality come quantity basis metrics which can take skilling activities ahead. Easier said than done, very difficult. But by the grace of God and the help of all our colleagues, bureaucrats as well as young consultants, whom we had taken some young consultants from various places. On 15th July, we celebrated the World Skills Day. It was a function held in uh, the Gyan Bhavan. Honorable Prime Minister was the, he did the honors. And but I'm happy to report to all of you, such a distinguished audience of ladies and gentlemen, that on 15 July, all the three or four very basic decisions which still stand, like the rationalization of norms, like the new skill and entrepreneurship policy, all these had been passed by cabinet and don't, only then we all came to the podium. Another thing Mr. Uh, Honorable Minister said was about information broadcasting. I have at least one or two colleagues of mine in this audience uh, because I got the opportunity to serve an INB secretary of the country. Now INB, <coughs> was and even now, it remains a very tricky subject. By definition, media, call it print media, call it electronic media, call it now digital media, they have to be and should be essentially anti-establishment. There are no other choice. In the process of being anti-establishment, they kind of tread on many feet. And the feet of establishment, they appeared feel of feet of any establishment uh, when criticized or trenchantly criticized, 
they suddenly become very sensitive and very delicate. So they have to face all these things combined together. In the election commission, I remained chief election commissioner of India for two and a half years. I had the privilege of getting the 2019 elections to Lok Sabha conducted. We had, believe me, in that time only in those two to three months, we had about 123 delegations from various political parties. And most of the delegations, they would have a cup of tea with us in our election commission room, have a meeting, then go out, call somebody like my friend Anurag here and his colleagues and criticize us to the hilt. That's their job. We were doing our job. That's the essence of democracy. On the digital side, we found and we still find, I think Delhi police representative would know better, that a smallest uh, ember in one part of any district in India can lit, lit the fires which are unimaginable. But I must also say that we started having the first meaningful talk with the digital people. And Mr. Tukral, I think, was the chairman of that association committee. He and our officers sat a couple of times and we all sat together, the full commission. And for the first time probably in uh, recorded history, they gave us a kind of list of their own do's and don'ts, their own norms which they will try to follow in the country. Which without trying to preen, it was a big achievement in the sense that they were themselves giving a set of norms which they will follow. And as was being said on the screen here before, and later on by the young and bright CEO of Amar Ujala, that on, this is still an area which we have to tread very carefully. Very carefully in the sense that it can cause riots, it can cause unrest, it can cause a kind of a, a social dissonance in the society, and especially in a society like ours, because we are not a country, we are a subcontinent uh, with so many castes, communities, religions, sub-religions, sub-castes, etc., etc. The propensity to cause mischief, even though it may be unconscious, though my own belief is that most of the mischief is quite conscious, it's not unconscious, can cause lot of unrest in the society. Summing up all this, because most of the names, uh, especially as the honorable jury members have been taken, I again thank them all, one, one and all, that we had a very interesting discussions and I hope that we kind of, uh, on the basis of our discussions and interaction, we kind of get repeated somewhere else for some other awards and we'll try to do the justice most swiftly because now we are kind of house trained to do that. And congratulate the organizers, can't take every name because Mansi only contacted me and Shweta, these are the two people who contacted me. I hope they are here. And uh, they were very meticulous in kind of hand-holding all the jury members, including the chairman. We hope that these areas which we have found for the awards 
Yes, somebody must have worked very hard on that. But when we were making our discussions, we found that even the most staid academics and others, our emotions rise a bit to be able to shortlist as to whom the award is to be given. They'll be taking all the names here. I would not like to kind of preempt their privilege of taking names and asking them to come and take the awards. Uh, we also try to give one or two special mentions. Uh, one, I can, because she's sitting next to me, a Delhi Police representative, for some of the initiatives they are taking by using cyber tools and tech it, what they call it, to track the criminals. Honorable audience, you probably would not believe it that a place is very near to Delhi, I'll not take the name, why take names? <coughs> On the borders of Rajasthan and uh, Haryana has already emerged as the cyber crime capital, one of the cyber crime capitals of the country. This was a privilege which was for a very long time the privilege which was arrogated to themselves by a small town in Bihar, but now it is border of Haryana and, and Rajasthan, Alwar district in particular. And these, uh, this was told to me by a very senior colleague from the IPS who had come to see me just as a courtesy call. And this, uh, I happened to be in Telangana in Hyderabad with my daughter, as I said. And there I found from the DGP of Telangana, again, one of the most competent police officers, that the activities of these people coming all the way from Northwest, uh, they coerce parts of some metropolitan cities, including Hyderabad. And he himself said, okay, sir, it is frightening the speed at which they are kind of uh, proceeding. And uh, we need to curve it from both sides. And uh, <coughs> who has written this slip? Whosoever has written, my own handwriting is quite bad, but I must congratulate. This is equally bad. So. <laughs> I am not really able to make much of it. But anyway, without trying to kind of dilate further, some young people are sitting here. If they sometimes want to have, I can give them some inputs of how people of their age, now younger to them or slightly elder to them, have done wonderful work in skilling in entrepreneurship in the country. How they are doing it, I still have their phone numbers and all that. I congratulate the organizers. I particularly congratulate Raviji, who is heading this uh, entire outfit, and all our colleagues. Uh, I'll say again, uh, Raviji, Anuragji, uh, Sanjay Divedi ji, Professor Najma ji, Jagrish Mitra ji, and uh, Aruna Sharma ji, who has been my colleague also in these services before I retired from IS in 2016, and Ashish Basin ji, uh, that they spend their time attending the conference, and they are spending their time attending the award-giving ceremony. May the Digital Impact Awards, and which are being steered overall by the Honorable Minister, they may do well, and every year they may bring more and more challenging uh, choices. On the choices made by the 
uh, organizers, I would just make a small suggestion that the focus is more on the government because government has mammoth programs. I would be very, we would be, in fact, I say that we would all be very happy if there are a lot of private sector people also who have done wonderful work, whose choices are made, uh, so that jury can have a wider uh, kind of uh, discussion and also see that besides the government and the ministries, who all are the people uh, who are outside the government but who have done a wonderful job. I am grateful that you found time to invite us, to listen to us, and thankful to you that I could exchange. Actually, it was not an exchange, it was just monologue, my views with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.